Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday. How can I give you a cheers? My Diet Coke is almost over. But see, got water here too. Uh, I'm also exhibiting a definite need to go to tanning. What are you gonna do? Anyway, um, actually I think, yeah. I was getting ready to shoot this video and uh, I've been a little bit lax this uh, this week about putting my lotion on. I get where, oh, I went for a massage. Um, I went for a massage last night because I was about ready to kill somebody from all the stress going on. And uh, you guys that have been watching me a while, you know I do this. I need to, <laughs> sorry about this. I had my hair up in a, you know, the kind of like yoga ponytail up on top of your head. So when I took it out to put it in the, um, in the cap, we had some strange curls going on that don't naturally occur in my hair. Again, what are you gonna do? Um, but anyway, I have really been remiss in putting on my coconut oil. Um, Cause I went to get a massage and they first, uh, at this Aveda place I go, they put, um, they put your feet in like a tub thing. What's the word I'm looking for? You know, like a foot tub. Um, and then she was looking at my calves and she's like, girl, what's up with that lotion or the lack thereof? So, um, anyway, try to focus. Do you think I can do it? Um, so it's Friday and it's actually Friday. I don't know if you can tell from like the lighting in here. I was wondering if I should turn some, my overhead lights on or not, um, to shoot this video because it's actually Five, almost 5.30, but I am in my workout clothes getting ready to do my uh, workout at 5.30, which is not now my plan. My plan and my practice lately has been um, to really do my five workouts, ideally Monday through Friday, but now I'm kind of throwing in an off day in the middle of the, the week and doing maybe like, well, whatever. Monday, maybe take Tuesday off, workout Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, I did screw up this week, totally unintentionally, um, and I'm not lying. It, 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 this week was, we really had a lot of um, crazy business coming in, and then I had to go downtown on a Tuesday uh, and speak. I'm sorry, I've got to stretch. Um, and speak, wow, when I do that, it, looks, it really makes me realize my, sh I'm glad that my shoulders are growing, because that makes me look like I have very, very small shoulders. Anyway, <laughs> focus! I had to go downtown, and for me to get downtown Chicago from where I live can sometimes take, if there's no traffic, it should take an hour and 15 minutes, but it's been known to take me sometimes two hours, and one time it took me close to three hours to get downtown, I'm not lying. So I left really early. I had to speak at this uh, gig, uh, Social Media Club Chicago, um, their fifth anniversary. So I had to be down there and speaking at six, which means I needed to really be down there at five. So I think I left at 2.30 to be safe, because you guys, I'm not lying. Um, that's how long. Just pulling some extra hairs out of here. Just ignore me. Um, you know how I am. Everything just... <laughs> some old school rap for you. Anyway, um, so all that said, I mixed up my days. Like, I think on Thursday, in my head, I was thinking it was Tuesday because I knew that there were certain packages that were supposed to be delivered. And I kept looking outside going, it was Tuesday, it's supposed to be delivered today. And then I must have looked at my, my iPhone or something because I'm like, today's Thursday. Usually it's the other way around. I think it's later when it's earlier. It's just been a really weird week. What? I'm already at four minutes. Um, but anyway, it's also been a strange week as far as like... I've been sneezing like a mad woman. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I'm in the middle of my massage last night and I, I'm i just like laying face down and I'm like, I could feel my nose going, you know, like this tickle in my nose. So I'm half trying to relax and then I'm half talking myself out of sneezing. I'm like, don't sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. And then my nose was running so bad that I knew when she flipped me over that it was going to be like a St. Bernard of snot. So I'm like, can I have a tissue, please? And I went to wipe my nose and literally I'm like, what's going on? There was so much snot, snotness going on. Can you tell I'm stuffy right now? I don't understand. I'm inside. 
I usually used to get, um, what's the word I want to hear? Allergies, like, but it would always be in the late summer, early fall. Like I would go outside, start sneezing. It's, it's almost November. Anyway, so I still will never forget the one time I had, I shot a vlog and I was either sniffling a lot or doing that. And, and literally I had someone write me and say, it looks like you have a cocaine habit. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I wanted to do a Reebok theme video, kind of like my best of Reebok for this year. And hence, I'm wearing a Reebok uh, sports bra. I, and this is actually from the CrossFit line. I'm going to go through a few of my favorites from this year. This is one of my favorite um, workout tops that we got this year. Again, this is, these are items, let me full disclosure, um, that Reebok, who is a client of my company, Fit Flunchal, um, gifted us. So I did not pay for these. but. These are, see how they have the, uh, of course I'm going to go blank on what I call this. It's not just a triangle, people. That's the uh, symbol they use in there. Wow, it's amazing how this looks blue on camera. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out when I shoot. This is purple. And right now as I'm holding it up and I can see in the feedback, it looks blue. I'll get to that in a second. Um, anyway, one of the things that I loved that we got, and this is from their CrossFit line. I don't know if you can tell it. If it says it there. Anyway, has the the it's not trident. Why am I thinking of that word trident? Anyway, it's got the um, uh, triangle in the back. This. So can you see this? See that? It says um, Reebok CrossFit, and then it has the thing. Now, what they've also done is they've created another line that doesn't say CrossFit on it. It just has the triangle. Um, because when we told them recently they were asking for our feedback, I said, I really, so I'm not a CrossFitter, right? And I don't go to a CrossFit box, um, but I love my favorite lines and the favorite clothes that they come out with for women tend to be from their CrossFit line. So I told them, I go, there's part of me that feels funny when I wear clothes that say CrossFit on it because I don't know, you either feel like you have to defend yourself no, I don't do CrossFit, or you know, you ha you feel like people are going to confront you because you know there there really are. There's certain people that do CrossFit or don't do CrossFit, and it, it can be a very controversial issue if you know what I mean or a topic. So um, all that said, the clothes that I like from Reebok tend to be from their CrossFit line. So what I'm going to tell you is, if you go to checkoutreebok.com to purchase anything for yourself. Um, after you watch my videos or from some of our other stuff on fitfluential.com. Don't not, well, that makes no sense. Make sure you check out the CrossFit. So if you hit like women's apparel, look at the CrossFit stuff. It doesn't matter that you don't do CrossFit or if you don't do CrossFit. Um, it's great, it's a great clothing line. For example, one of, you guys have seen me wear this shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts and it does say, you know, AMRAP on the back, which is as many reps as possible if you're familiar with CrossFit stuff. And it says Reebok CrossFit. Um, but now they have, see, I bought this when we were up there. Um, they have the same style shirt in these colors, same, can you see like the stitching and stuff? So it's the same make, same fit. I really love it. And I've told you guys in the past, you know, I feel like if you have muscular arms sometimes, short sleeve shirts can ride up on your on your arm and it just it fits funny and sometimes it can make you look like if you have muscular arms it, it, if they're not made for muscular arms it can almost make your arms look really fat like or it's cutting off at an area I'm being shallow I don't care um, it can cut you off in an area not these um, so that your arms that are muscular are going to appear just like fat and I don't like that. These, this is one of the shirts that got me starting to wear short sleeve shirts around the house. Um, so I really love this and I don't care. Somebody wants to ask me, are you sure you don't do craftsman? I'd be like, that's right, but you know what? I'll punch you in the face if you ask me anything else. I wouldn't really say that. Um, this is also what I bought while I was up there. But let me explain why, because these are a pair of shorts, which I never would have thought I would buy short shorts for myself because I've never bought short shorts probably since I was in high school or college. Um, and I remember when they gave these CrossFit shorts to us, I think, yeah, these are the CrossFit line. Let me make sure they're both from the CrossFit line. Yeah, but here's the thing. The fit of these shorts, I couldn't believe it. I, they gave these to us when we were out at IDEA for um, the IDEA Fit Conference. I don't know if you can tell this. Yeah, there's the little um, 
polka dots there and they have this uh, this lining on the inside so you know you're not going to be showing too much anyway can you see this from far away let me stay out of the way you know these are short shorts but here's the thing they're not like Britney Spears short shorts or tacky short shorts where you're, you know, your ass cheeks are hanging out because you've got this on the inside essentially like you know your panties whatever you want to call it all I'm saying I have this baby's got back and this baby's also got really strong muscular thighs and that's where I've always carried my fat to so for me Wearing short shorts was not what I would think would be an ideal solution for me. Now, I've lost a good amount of weight. I've lost about 20, a little over 20 pounds this year. I'm not at my goal weight yet, but you know, I have, what's the word? Um, what's the word? When uh, Saddlebags, they call them saddlebags, you know, when you have that on the uh, part of, that's where I carry my fat. So for somebody like me, I'm just letting you know, ladies, um, if you have that kind of, I have an hourglass shape with, um, you know, thighs that are not only muscular, but then that's where I carry my fat. These shorts, I wear a size medium now, um, fit me very well, and I would be okay going out in public, preferably with tanning cream on. Um, so they gave us these, this is the other one that has a little bit of the, the red. Now this has a different front on it, but you guys can, you know, look these up, Reebok.com, you'd look at under apparel for women and CrossFit, but then while we were up in Boston, I bought this. Now this is purple. I don't know why it's showing up on here as blue, but um, it does say CrossFit on the back. And, and so I got the, the bra and also the purple shorts, which shows you how much I like them. Um, not necessarily that I wear them out here um, in the winter. It looks really, it really looks a lot more wide. Maybe it's the way it fits. Um, but this is a size medium slim, and for me, that's what fits me. Um, and I think the price point is very good, $55 um, for a pair of shorts that is, you know, this is not a flimsy cotton material. It's really nice. Now, back to the sports bras, because technically, this is a sports bra, right? Here's, let me give you my feedback on Reebok for bras. Um, obviously, I have some girls going on here. Um, wow, I'm at 12 minutes already. Um, I have been a 36D in the past as I've lost weight this year. I'm down to a C cup, um, but you know, I, I don't think I've ever been smaller than a C cup in my life. Wait a minute. One time I did get down to like a B cup, but that was like during my divorce. And that was an unhealthy weight loss. Um, and I don't think they'll ever get smaller because I'm probably having some work done. Um, anyway, I am wearing one of their sports bras, okay? So this is one of the CrossFit bras. Here's the thing. I would absolutely wear this this way. So one of the sports bras under a tank top, and I don't have another bra on underneath. Um, let me turn this down. This sounds a little old. Um, so would I wear this to run? And again, not that I'm running right now, no. If I, if I was gonna go running, I probably, I, I just wouldn't. I would not wear this for a running sports bra. Would I wear it to do training and then to you know get on the treadmill or the stair mill or anything like that? And in my, excuse me, in my style of training right now where everything is non-running, non-plyo, this is fine. But I am being honest with you in that, and I've told my friends at Reebok this, you need to design a bra like this for girls with girls. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I do think that they have some new stuff coming out that I'm not allowed to talk about yet that will address some of those things. A side note, one of my favorite things they had, I think they have a new version, but a lot of us got this just plain jacket thing. And I'm telling you, we I wear this, my sister wears this little jacket thing around the house. Tina had it on when we were up there. This is just the most casual, um, loose, comfortable jacket. And now I, I asked when we were up there, I was like, because I said, this is one of our favorites. I don't think they sell this exact one, but they have like a newer version, but these are just really nice. I mean, I constantly wear this when I'm working from my home office. So I have maybe a short sleeve shirt on and I throw this on over the top. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that I love that too. I'm gonna wrap up. Will I make it under 15 minutes? Just about. And give you a quick last run through of the favorites of mine from the shoe perspective. 
Early on, we did reviews of these. These are very reasonable shoes. These are the, um, and some of my favorites, because I'm going to show you, I bought them in like 17 colors. Um, gosh. Again, why don't they put the name of the shoe? And um, I think this is, oh, gosh. I, hopefully, you know what I'll do? I'll put this in the link to the video. If I'm correct, these are like $65, $75. Very cushiony. Obviously, you guys know I'm a fan of shoes that have like a heel. Uh, I just love the colors. So I, I had them in bright orange. This is what I brought with me to Florida earlier in the year and I would go running about like half an hour. Um, I got it in pink, <laughs> I told you, uh, green and yellow. Um, and they have them in a ton of other colors. Um, is it real flex maybe? Does it say it on there? Smooth flex, smooth flex. Can you see that? Smooth flex. Um, hold on. We did these earlier in the year, if you remember. Um, these are the DMX, if I am saying that correctly. I will tell you, these are some of the most cushy, comfortable shoes around. Um, very, see the bottom? Very, very, very cushy, comfortable. I have done running in this. I've done weight training running together. Very nice. Um, these are their ATVs. These are designed more for outside. Um, I've only used these once, so I can't speak to them as much, but I know that men love them. Um, and they are, you know, again, they're meant for rocky outside walking and running and such. I did get made fun of tremendously by my friend Chris at Reebok, and I'm just going to give it back to you, Chris. <laughs> he said that these shoes are made for, like, old people and whatever. I'm sorry. I just wanted some plain black shoes. And these were the ones I picked out, but apparently these are for, like, if you're in the geriatric ward, whatever. Um, I have on basically very similar color, but they're more the running shoe. This is for CrossFit. So this is, um, it's not the Nano, but these are the very like, um, can you tell? Hold on. This is, I think this is Reebok one, or hold on. Gosh, I feel bad that I don't know the name of this. I'll put links to it. But anyway, this is from the CrossFit line. Um, I'm, this is not a Nano. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. I believe this is from the new, this might, no. I'll put it in the links. Anyway, um, and then the ones I'm wearing here, I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> I'm going to get a leg cramp doing this. You see this? I, I do like these a lot. And I actually have socks on too. <sighs> Can't really see them that much, but I have blue socks on. I'll just show you um, if I can undo this while we're here. Gosh, I'm at 17 minutes. But you guys have told me you don't mind. So... These are the ones I have on. These are very comfortable. These are, take on it, smooth, smooth fuse. Can you see that up at the top? Very comfortable, I believe. I think the cool thing about Reebok is they don't make all of their shoes like for one thing. You know, it's not like this is one, like just a running shoe. And for me, the style of training, you know, or my training lifestyle, if you will, it's like so many people, you, you pick and choose the, the different things that you do, right? You do weight training, I do yoga, I do all different kinds of things. So for me, I tend to um, gravitate towards shoes that I can do my weight training in and or running. Speaking of running, and I'm gonna wrap this video up, um, Mark is gonna be assessing me, Amy and I are gonna go see him on Friday. Um, I'm going to LA on Monday but I will be back and we're gonna go see Mark on Friday so he can assess my Achilles because I might be able to start running again. Yay! I'm gonna let you go, happy Friday. More videos to come, but um, that's my kind of greatest hits from Reebok for this moment.